They might have just updated it. Uh, new designs on the other one. They might have just updated it. This one goes up to 16. Yeah, okay, they used to do it. There was one other one. No, this is the only other one. That's the only one, the Pulsar. Didn't Pulsar. Do it. Nope. Nope. There was the Pulsar, the center dime, and that's the the expenses. That one's over a thousand bucks. You have your notes from the last one. Where were we at with rate one? I brought my wrong pad, but I let me see what I got in my. Uh... I got. I know again. I just grabbed the wrong one, but I figured we'd be all somewhat closer than we were. We started with. Uh, um, let me find my notes. Well, what's right there? It's written on, what's on written on the, the... That's like four ago. That was the We addition. lowered that one. We even went down from that one. We went down a dollar on that drop on that one. That's the one that was there. But, can we get well, back up with it? No, I just came <laughs> straight from the phone. Can you get your phone, your emails on your phone, Bobby? Yeah. I think I sent you an email last night after I know, I saw it. Oh. I got it right here. I forgot the printout of it because there's something in there I wanted to. Uh... I've been at the boat since 4 a.m., so. She's smacking around in the pier? Well, she's not banging, but I gotta keep adjusting the lines. Think it's gonna get up to the top? Tomorrow morning's gonna be not pretty. If it keeps blowing. We'd have to go up considerably to go up on a little bit up on the dock. It almost got a blast storm, so. Right. Well, that's what I want to talk about. The, when we were doing the stuff about the um, the 14, we were looking at the sheet that Charlie gave us for all these crazy rates were because it was airport to hotel. It wasn't based on the short distances in the zone. So we were looking at all these all these huge $16, $15 raises, but that was because it was 9.5 miles. It wasn't a mile and a half mile. Where we left off, and I had thought we were fairly close, was the rate one was a $6 drop, 25 cents, one-tenth of a mile. The rate two was a $12 drop at 50 cents at one-fifth of a mile. The rate three was a senior citizen uh, rate, $3 drop, 25 cents for each one-tenth. And the rate four was the after hours. And that also was the inter multiple fare thing we talked about. And that was eight fifty a drop. And you know, twenty five cents or one tenth. And then we had talked about two fifty for the fifth and over bags. We had two fifty um, for the second passenger. Uh, we had two fifty for a bike. And again that after hours charge was five bucks. And up and above. I thought we were fairly done with a lot of that. I think the extra five dollar thing, not the fifth, the, the two fifty. <coughs> what? Wait a minute. The extra flag would be set at two fifty. That way, for the after, it was easy. That way, the after hours, the, you just hit it twice. The after hours, we wanted to have the five into the rate. Yeah, we just you start hitting that extra button for the f five people, and then you're hitting them again for another five, and the extras are just going up. Going to be more than the fare before you even start. Yeah, that's, that's what the, you want. <laughs> it's your fare. Well, I mean, you got to show it somewhere. Well, the problem with that is uh, late night and busy time is the driver's going to spend more time arguing with the people. I don't even. Why is he even going to tell them? But they're, they're getting in the car, cab. If it's after whatever the after hours rate is, 11, 12. You're pushing it twice. If he's after hours and he's got a bike, you push it three times. It's posted right on the on the back. I mean, there's no. I mean, you're worried about arguing. I mean, arguing about yeah, I drove over a dirt road for 50 feet and then I crossed in and out of two separate zones on the old map. I mean, that's more arguing. But, um, I think this was the the cleanest, simplest way, and it's easily explainable if anyone's complaining. You know, why did I get this extra $5 charge? Well, it's midnight. That's an after hours charge. You know, why was it a 250 charge? Well, you had a bike. I mean, it's just, uh, 
and then we left it. We left the dog fee. We didn't have any charge for dogs, but you can refuse to take a dog. That's why we left about talking about it. And then we had those four rates. So I don't know. We spent two mile. two meetings talking about it already. What do you want? This is a short mileage one. Um, there was the town one down here. Uh, it's a 1.3. Uh, yeah. 25. Right here, this one here, Town Mid Island. 1.3. This, this is just to see what it would be in some of the outskirts for a short run. Well, it's well, 14 for a drop, and then if you're at one fifth of a mile, look at the pink column. Fifth and the twenty-five come out the same thing, no matter how you slice it, give or take a few cents. So we were basing them all on the point two five for a tenth, just to keep it simple for programming. What do you mean? Just everything we come up with, we'll just base it on point two five a uh, tenth of a mile. Well, but that's going to really increase your out-of-town rates. Those long-distance runs you're going to see a bigger fee. I mean, so you, you have to lower your, if you just want to leave it on, everything on a one-tenth is okay, but your, um, your fee has to change. So that's just going to be off 25 cents in the direction sometimes? Well, that all depends on the distance. I mean, if it's short runs, yeah, you're right. It won't make much difference for short runs, you know. I mean, if you, but if you're in, if you start, it's just, just more clicks for the short runs. You know, there's more. You just change the 14 okay. to the 19, and we'll see what it comes out to for the zone to zone. So even your short runs. I mean, I use like a three mile thing distance from, say, Tom Nevers to Sconset. Is the fifth and the tenth based on the. The, the tenth set at 35. Set the tenth at 25, Charlie's what you're saying. It's, then it's going to be the same, basically. It will be exactly the same. Right. Unless you're, you know. So a tenth would be 22 and a. $19 drop. Nothing on that sheet is the same. It's not That's just close. like a mile. Yeah, but then... We're not looking at all the other mileages because it doesn't apply to all the other mileages. It only is going to... Within that zone, you're probably talking five miles max. <clears throat> what happens if you're in Long Winnet and you're going to Madiket? It's going to be a hundred bucks. Fifty bucks. <laughs> what is it now? It's thirty-nine now. Back it's forty-one now. The Mac, it's 
across the aisle. Would be that. So what would it be if we did it as six? And when we had it at 12, Still got five dollars increase. Went from forty one to forty six. Those are those are far and few between. It's just the majority of the fares are going to be those shorter. Well, shorter I mean, just look at the the three mile fare at the top of the town. The three point one mile fare. You know, right now for three miles, it's twelve dollars, and then it goes for the out of town. It's nineteen nineteen fifty. So that drive from Tom Nevers to Sconset is going to be twenty bucks. So what do you get now for if you had to pick someone up from Tom Nevers and take them to Wisconsin, what would they get? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So yeah, but it's still gonna don't 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 go by that yeah, thirty-dollar okay, number because it's not a twelve-dollar drop; it's a six-dollar drop because you're going to town. You're going into Zone One. Right. Zone One to Zone anywhere from Zone One to anywhere is the six-dollar drop. It's right. Nice. Out of it's the out of town. So if you're looking at the distance, see if you were right now. So basically, Tom Nevers to Wall Winnet is about seven miles. So that's going to bring it up to. So right here. Around twenty-four dollars. Right. And Tom Nevers to Sconset. About three, but that's that's out of the zone because that's, yeah, so that's that's a out. That's, that's going to be nineteen fifty. Right. Yeah. The initial flag drop is that's the simple. That one, that well, that's why when you say you want ni a nineteen dollar, <laughs> that's with it zone to zone. Yeah, but a nineteen dollar flag, it's huge. Yeah. I mean, that three dollar fare from now. town Tom Nevers is going to be, you know, twenty six fifty. Well, you go to the different flag drop if you're going to town. Not going to town. I'm going from Tom Nevers to this post office. <coughs> And you want nineteen fit you want nine twenty six fifty for that three three mile run. It's more than three miles. It's not so more than three miles from Tom. If Nevers. it's more than three miles, you're gonna get even more then. Well no, half of it's driving. Well why is a customer gotta pay for the fact that you're hanging around the club car? You know, I mean, if he wants you're not to getting have a cab now. again, he does. Sure you are. You're getting twenty six fifty to pick someone up at Tom Nevers and bring them to the Wisconsin market. And right now you're getting twenty one. Twenty one for one person, but there's always add on people. We're not talking about add on. But you're going to add on anyway. You're, you've got two fifty a person add on, so that brings it to twenty nine. And then if they've got a bike, that's another two fifty. <laughs> you're not eliminating the add ons. This is just a base fare one person. Tom? Here's the way I'm looking at it. When we go out to Sconset, 401 minute, like under the new rates, Sconset would be like $25. I think. So we want it. Oh, it's a $12 flight. The thing is, we are starting from town. We have to assume that without central dispatching. That's the problem here. So we have to get our minimum to get out there to Sconset. There's nothing stopping you all from your, your association. That's why does the public have to pay because you guys all want to run independent and have that one cab parked at the club car. The people who live in, on the outskirts of the island who want a short run are being penalized. Because you can't yeah. have a central district. Sure you can. Not on an island. You can get, they you did it. They've done it for years. You said it in Sconset. You see how many calls you're going to get. I'm saying you as an association can do it. This is mom and pop businesses, not a big corporation. Mm -hmm. These are little people making them. Come on, Terry. It's a little high. I'm, you're the ones coming in with the high rates. We're trying to we're trying to match the rates that exist today. 
And I thought we had done that. Now we're taking a step back. We might as well go right back to the zone map for all this is doing. This is just going to cause more problems. It's already causing problems. This is crazy. This is just a big waste of time. We've aired it all out. You know, we've only been in this little thing for five hours. The rest of it has been doing for 50 to 100 hours, plus the last 50 to 20 years. It's not going to work. There's going to be so many flags. I don't know which one to drop anymore. The customer's not going to know which one's going to work. We have two flags. You guys have added seven. All right? That, that, you can't look, make it work with just two. People. It's not going to be the exact same. We've said that from day one. All right? It's not going to be the same. You have 23 zones now. 23 zones. You know how difficult that is for the average person off the street to figure out? You guys can't even figure out all the time. I, mean, I can explain to them like that. This stuff I can The last time I got in a cabin, somebody asked me, I asked them how, why it cost what it was. They took a book, this thing, threw it over the back seat to me and said, there's the zone maps. It's all in there. That's what they said to me. Did you, you think the average person card? liked that? Huh? Did you get a business card? Yeah, I got his. I know who he was. He's a friend of mine. He's dead now, but that's what he did. He handed me the book and said, "Here you go." Well, he should have explained it. But yeah, it's pretty simple. But you've got drivers that have literally gotten in cabs that have been on Nantucket for a month, that have got gone out and got a cab license. They can, half of them barely speak English. You guys are the independents in here. You're not the majority of what drives in July and August. You guys don't drive 24 hours a day. You know, everybody who works for me. Works for me year round. Look, you can't have seven zones. Like you said, it's going to be too confusing. First of all, you're going to have to spend $1,000 on a meter because that's the only one that does that many drops. Nobody wants to spend $1,000 in the meter. We're trying to make this work in a four zone system. Now, we have the senior zone that you guys feel happy you have to have in there. That's great. Zone one, zone two, and then the zone three is the add on, the second person. Well, if we have to uh, revamp okay. the senior to make something work and come up with a different solution, then... You come out there for now and you can look at this and start pressing those buttons. I need to be wearing a cast. This guy's going to break my wrist. They do it everywhere else on the planet. This is what I, this is not new. I mean, if you get in a cab in any city, anywhere else on the Cape, there's extras. There's extras everywhere. There's no difference here. Over here, you press the button once. Off we go. And what it is is what it is. Right. I mean, they don't even have to push a button, an extra button here if you're by yourself. You guys are the ones that want the extra passengers. You want the extras. You've got to you know? a living. We can, we, can, we, can raise the, we can raise the flag, the base flag. Uh, we did it already, a couple bucks. So we got rid of that extra passenger. We talked about that in one of the first meetings was we'll raise, we'll keep the initial flag drop up higher, get rid of all the extras. So you'll be making more on all, but you didn't want that. No, because we'll lose. <laughs> but we were going to raise the initial flag drop. The original flag drop at seven was going to be very expensive for the working people going to work. But that, then you came back with that, and that's fine. But we said, we'll get rid of all the extras, we'll give you a higher base. But yeah, then but you guys came back and said, no, we don't want that. No, it's like, okay. We're trying pounds. to make it fit, we're trying to get 10 pounds of crap in a two pound bag. You guys don't realize that we have a lot of workers, you know, Essex, Bartlett, and all that, Hooper Farm, they pay seven bucks to go to work. Okay. If those guys start paying ten bucks, twelve bucks, they're going to get healthy because they're start walking. I'll ride a bike. I'm going to get drunk. Uh, let's see. But that's why we kept our in-town rate. We lowered it down. And we left the extras in the way you wanted it. But there's so many different things that just don't work. I, I don't understand what doesn't work. You've yet to tell me what doesn't work other than having to push the extra button for an extra passenger or a bike. I don't know what doesn't work. Maybe I'm old and I'm old fashioned where somebody comes up to me and says, Ken, I gotta go to Matic with this many people. I'm in Arkansas and I go, the price is this. They go, oh, great. And you could probably yeah. still tell them the proximate fare. Yeah, it'll be about 15 bucks, 16 bucks. Yeah, well, when they get in my cab now with a meter, I'm gonna go, well, the flame's gonna drop at this. Then your wife is 250, your three kids 250, your dog, your dirt road. Just There's no dirt roads, and this is the thing: we're trying to get out all those extras and extra people and extra bags. Well, you see, dirt roads paid for my car wash. I can't take a cab to the White Elephant or the Wall Wind. 
They looked at my cab and they said, get out of here, go get a car wash. It cost me 10 bucks for a car wash. Three dirt roads, or four dirt roads, paid for one car wash with two bucks left over. Unless I get the expensive car wash. Plus your time Plus to wash it. And I, you go along Arkansas, see how bad that is. You go down Millbrook, see how bad that is. You know, over to Bassett and all those other ones. It's been out everywhere. Was Bruce at the meeting last night? Was he on island? Yeah. Left him a message. Well, Bobby, what do you want to do? Let's go know. back to that. I thought we were done with this, but I mean, obviously, I don't think we're ever going to get any agreement on where we're going now. We spent two meetings, and I thought we were, this meeting would be good to wrap it up. We'll get something. But we've got, we're getting nowhere. Yeah, we're going backwards, we're not going forwards. I mean, we talked about having these multiple rates at the first meeting, and we agreed that we have to keep it simple. And then we had it down to these four. Let's go back to seven. And we were just tweaking the numbers a little bit to try and to our, try and match it. Now you guys come back with seven rights. Well, well, that's with the after I was on uh, after our drop built in. See, I, I understand about the, the Tom members. 26 going Wisconsin now. And you're, you're right, that's unfair to Wisconsin. But, but what we're no, it's unfair to Tom unfair. Nevis. They have plenty of money in Wisconsin. So, that's that's, that's a the lot kind of, of comments that shouldn't even be made at this table. Right. A, a loaf of bread is a loaf of bread. Right, right, so no matter the guy's got five hundred million dollars or five bucks, it exactly. shouldn't cost him more because he lives in Wisconsin. Right. But but I understand you're trying if you're basing it on making it fair for the for the Tom Nevers, we're asking to make it fair for us to go to Wisconsin. No, we're basing it on the existing rates now. We're trying to get as close as we can to what you're making now and then giving you a little bit more to cover the extra headache of this meter. And that was sort of where we started from the first meeting. And I thought we were close to that. Because if you took the existing rates that you get now, we sort of came, we were pretty close. We were with a few pennies either way. You know, some you were losing, some you were making. But the average, you guys are going to do all right. Now you're coming back and now you want, you know, a $19 drop where we were talked about 12 You want $6 more than what we were before? I don't, I don't think so. want a $24 drop. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Right. That's in a different the, zone. You no. Know, we can't discuss this and, and change it. I don't think 12 is written in stone there, is it? No. All right, so what well, I'm saying is you're, you're keeping it fair for Tom Nevers, but we're, we're trying to keep it fair to us to go to Wisconsin. And for us to go to Wisconsin, I understand it's going to be unfair for the Tom Nevers, but then the 19 would be unfair for them. No, if you were but leaving town. Between here, and, and so that's why we're arguing that we should get our money to go to Wisconsin. But you're getting the it. Fingers full that people are getting twenty-six dollars to go from uh, Tom Nevers, Wisconsin, not ours. Well, there's a and that there's a there's a pretty big disconnect in what what I believe the regulations is you know yeah. the state law that that's adopted that gives the town the power to set regulations for taxis is to protect the public, not to protect the taxi business. I mean, that's the premise of the statute. You know, these regulations aren't designed to keep taxi businesses, you know, in operation. They're designed to stop the public from getting gouged, designed to stop the public from being taken advantage of. That's the whole, that's the whole point here. I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for an in-between here. Too. I thought we had it. I just don't see it. I just don't see 12 working. That's, uh, I, I brought up the example last time. At the end of the meeting of the what went upon under the new rates to go all the way out there take somebody to town would be about twenty seven dollars. For somebody to pick up the, the choppers and go a mile down the road would be fourteen fifty under the new rates and, and the logic is there. We're just asking for the town right now. Okay, using the town rate of what we had talked about as a six dollar drop. For the town rate, from town to Wawinet, it. it's a twenty-three dollar fare. Okay. All right, right now, right now, it's just what I have here. It's twenty-three dollars, eight point two miles. Okay, using the one-tenth rate right now. Okay, 
that $23 fare goes to $26.30. What is wrong with that? You're getting 23 now. So I don't understand what the problem is. It's the those out-of-town ones in the same zone. The zone-to-zone problem. But the zone-to-zone ones, what? Change it to 12, Charlie. So we go back to 12, and where are you going? Tell me, give me a mileage of where you want to go. To Toppers to Pacamo. All right, so. Road is about one mile. No, it's a lot longer than that. Pacamo's. Okay, right from the beginning. All right. Yep. Okay, so you got a mile, a short fare. We'll call it two miles. It's right here in front. All oh, right here. Across the point nine. So the point nine, right now, using twelve dollars, and that is thirty-two dollars. I'm sorry, I'm thirteen eighty, fourteen dollars. So to make that one run, yeah, it's fourteen dollars. Okay. And I, I, How often do you do that, though? Not often, so that's why I'm, why not just... That, that was our point. You're making some more money because, because then the, the guy that paid, if you put 19 in there... Nobody's going out put, there If you put 19 in there and you go to Toppers and you take somebody over to uh, Sankety Ave <laughs> in Sconset, that's now jumped that rate to 30 bucks. I know. Well, nobody's sure. driving... But so why would it to pick them up to take them to Pacamo for fourteen dollars? Is what we're saying. Yeah, well, you're gonna have some rates you're gonna make less on, but you've got all these other ones you're making more. We're gonna be busy. It's not gonna happen. But keep going back. So then you make more money on all the fares, and then you're gonna you pick and choose from when you're losing fares. We didn't bring this to the table. This nonsense came from the board. Now don't call well, it nonsense. It is because nonsense. I'm gonna get up Bobby. and walk out. It is nonsense. Because I'll just take this to the board and we'll have a public hearing on, it and that'll be the end of it. I'm trying to work with you guys here and. Well, I'm just saying, we're trying to make it work too. We understand, but you're making. You're not giving us anything. What we just talked we about on the what town we deserve fair. And what we are going to get. We're not going to take less. But you're getting more. You're getting more of a. We go back to this. Let's find the number that works. We haven't found the number that works. I'm just. Look at this right now. The town to one win it rate. Going from town to toppers, okay? You're making $3 more on that fare. Right now, using using the six dollar drop from town to toppers, you're making three dollars more on that fare than you were making today. And that's only yes, one person from in town. the town. Right, but that's right from right. town. So you're making more. All right. I'm just trying to match the existing rate chart. So you're, you're making, making three dollars more here. You're making more to Squam. You're making more to. Sconset, you're making more. Yeah, those are fine. We're not arguing. So that. you guys are happy if you're making more money on some of the, on most of the some, fares, but you're not more. happy if you're not making as much money on those couple of minor fares on the on the lower end. Right. You We're guys want to make more money on every runs. fare everywhere. You can't. You haven't you had can't a raise in six years. <laughs> We're just talking about what exists today to try and find a comparison. Right. On most of the fares, using the six dollar drop. You're making more money. On a couple of these fares, I agree. That one mile fare from Toppers to Pacamo, you're not going to make as much as you're making now. It's a $14 fare from a 17. You're losing $3 on that fare. But the majority of your fares, you're making more money. How much do you get from that one mile fare? Pacamo to the uh, top of Pacamo Road to Toppers. How much would you charge? 23. 23. 23, okay. So it's $7 difference, say. Yeah, but under the new rates, nine. We're talking nine. Nine. All right, call it nine. How often are you making that one mile fare? How often you do that? Right, so why not? Why not that's why I'm not spending a lot of time on that one mile fare in the out of town zones because it doesn't happen a lot. So if you leave it at 19 and it doesn't happen at all, then we're covered when it does happen. But it affects all the other rates. Well, yeah. those maybe the person who lives in Tom Nevers then is paying the $26 fare because it's a little longer distance. But, yeah, but we don't want, want the year-round people. We don't want anybody to have to spend too much money, basically. Charlie, just for uh, put 19 or the six is for me. Well, you know what we do? We can make it 19 and really lower the mileage down. <laughs> if we want to call it that, go to set from 50 cents. Right, so for that one now, now a $19 run with a, with four with a with five say six miles goes to 33 bucks. See, there's the problem. Everything jumps up. So if they want a basic rate, we come down with this one fifth of a mile then and bring this down to say 10 cents. Try it. Who 
is that for this? See, but look at the Madiket, the sconce, it writes down the bottom, these cross islands. Because the distance is more, <coughs> you're not, you're losing it. Well, that gets you one mile up to 21. Many. Yeah, that gets you one mile up to 21 bucks where you are, but you're going to lose it on the other end on your longer runs. Yeah, but that takes a, like a four mile run. That's a zone to zone. So to 29. So an eight mile run would be. So your Tom Nevers run goes, you know. No. I guess it's 22. You're basically just getting a flat rate for every out-of-town fare. That's what that $19 turns into. With the minimum of a mile. But you lose it on any of your out-of-town long runs. Right. But that one mile, that one mile run from Toppers to Pacamo, you'll you'll get what you what you usually get. Yeah, I think that's the major concern. I don't, I think you know I think that fare, hey, you guys decide. I look at the number of fares that you're gonna do from that one mile versus the Cross islands and those longer runs out of town, but we still we still achieve the goal of meeting the existing rates. You want to go with a flat, but you're going to lose it on the longer runs. Charlie, bump do it nine. Bump the fifth of a mile to um, twenty cents for me. Just oh, that's blow it up. So your your Tom your Tom Nevers to Wisconsin Market Fair is now twenty two bucks, which is about what it is now. Where is the? And if you guys believe that you don't do too many well when it's Wisconsin or Madikit Wisconsin, then you're good because you're going to so lose on those. Miles from Tom Nevers to Wisconsin? No more. About three miles. Three. About three. Three point one. I went right at the top. That's what I was looking at. Twenty one seventy. On those longer runs, though, those cross islands, you know, it's not going to be as much. Well, it actually brings it in line pretty close because, well, when it's Wisconsin now is 27. Right, and it's going to lose a bucket. Well, well, when it's Wisconsin, it's probably about seven miles. So that brings it to 26 points. So that was close. But where you're going to get, where you're going to lose now is Matic at Wisconsin. Right. And while we're at the market, but that brings it. That brings everything else along. Yes. What's Walmart in Wisconsin now? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. With the way we would do it today, but that so that's what it'd be now. We're gonna lose a dollar eighty. It'll be less. A little less. A little less. And what's the purple column? <coughs> that, that's that's the that's just in town rate. Don't worry about that. Just looking at the fifth at twenty. If we went to a nineteen dollar drop and twenty cents for a fifth of a mile, that one mile run now would be where is it? Point nine. Point nine. So it would be nineteen seventy. What is it now? That run? There is no 
short run that shows. But that brings. But they're saying that's 19. That's what he said. We would charge out yeah. out there. It'd be 19 the, uh, bucks. The Sconset, a five mile run, or four mile run would be 23 bucks. Three miles would be 22. Matic at the Scots, it's going to drop. That's the only one that's going to drop. The rest are going to go up. So how do we figure that out? We don't. Well, you, you can't. You can't have it both ways. You got to. You got to. You either got to make it all up on the other ones, or you got to and have your long distance drop, or you got to have your long distance go up and lose it on the short. Do so you either want to get paid more for mileage, or you want to get paid more for the initial drop? If you change them both to be up, everything goes up. You know, way up. That's, that's all right. <laughs> well, it's not all right. Not, not Everything's not going up. Can We're you, trying to meet where we are today. Charlie, can you put the 25 in there? Too? It's pull up. All you got to do is look at it. Well, it's going to be the same as the is it 10. Be the same? Yeah. Yeah, exactly the same. Well, no, well, just for your fractionals, but for your like your one miles will be show up the same. Just depends how many extra clicks you got in there. Because you got double the clicks for one tenth versus one fifth. So it'll be double. Those rates That's one price. Right, we're just going by the mileage and stuff to see what it would be for those out of town runs. So it gets confusing if you look at like what's actually over there. So that one mile fare that you say you get nineteen dollars on now it's pretty to close. 20. Goes to twenty one. And the five mile fare goes to twenty seven. So that's gone up five bucks. Twenty six. Which one by the uh, the pulp is the town, which is five point nine miles. That now goes to twenty six twenty. The three mile run goes to 23. I mean, how much you charge now to go to Pulpus, you know? 17. 17 bucks, so it's going up $10. All because you want to make that one that. We're never going near town on some of these. Okay. It's zone to zone. Right, zone to zone. So if you're doing that one mile. No, but right now in the zone to zone, if you're going to. If you're going to if you're going to Pocomo and you're pick, taking them to Sconset, you're charging them the Sconset run, right? $21. If somebody, you're picking somebody up in Pocomo. Right now, if you're going to... If you pick somebody up on the Pulpus Row right now and you take them to Sconset, you charge them the Sconset rate, right? $21. Right. Okay. So that run from, from so Pulpus Road to Sconset's probably five miles. Not a very productive run, but what we do it? you'll do it. But well, right well, it goes now, down, it goes from 14 to 23 for a 4.1 mile run. It goes to 23, 2390. Right. A 4.1 mile run goes to 2390 now, well, so it's going up. Well, the zone to zone is not just a four point. You're, you're driving out there to do it. That's the whole point of the. No, but the rate, rate, what you're going to charge them, you're not, so you're not turning the right. meter on when you're you leave town. So you're going to charge them 2390. Right now you're getting 21. So, so it's only a two dollar. You're getting a slight increase. You know, it would be cheaper for the passenger if they turned the meter on when they left town. <laughs> Depending on where they were. Yeah, if they were right. in the club car, it'd be cheaper for the. Yeah, we've thought of it. Believe me, we've gone. We've met hours and hours and hours. We didn't just come up with this willy nilly. Well, the only the only runs that you're losing on now is these two. That one's pretty close. This was close. These two. If you leave it at that, at 25 for a fifth and 19, everything. Let's get some parts. Actually, you're gonna you're making it up on some of these pretty good because right, right now, Wisconsin to town's 21 seven mile run. If you pick up in Walwin at the Walwin house and you go to Wisconsin Village, that's seven miles. So that's gonna jump to 28 bucks. So you're making it up. How many runs do you do from, say, Walwinnet to Madigan or Sconset to Madigan? 
probably more from Wisconsin than Madigan. You know, people going out to dinner and stuff. You'll get those few people out in Madigan going to Tavis or something, or visiting, or a wedding or something. But, but more probably Wisconsin. But now this is things. this is going to give you at that little one if you're in Wisconsin and you're picking up in Tom Nevers. If you're say you're picking up at Wisconsin Chapel and you're going to Tom Nevers, that's probably. 3.1. Three miles. Three so that's going to bring you to 22 seven. Let me get a little from the crowd to see if this is on the right track. So that's what they were they're making more. Right. I'm, I'm not arguing with that. I'm not arguing at all. <laughs> How's that? What's the latest? The 19 flag with the 25 cents. We're going to lose some on the, the long, long, long ones, but we're going to make it up on because right now some if you, of the regular runs. Right now, if you pick somebody up at the Sconset Chapel and you take them over to that house in Wawinet where they have the weddings, you charge them the Sconset rate, which is $21, $21 right? No, no. Sconset to Tom Nevers. Sconset Chapel to Tom Nevers. So that'd be 21, right? The whale's watching. So now, the, uh, with the $19 drop and the 25 cent per fifth of a mile, that's going to go to 22.70. So around 23 bucks. So it's going to have a slight raise. The short run, the one mile run now is going to go to n around 20 bucks. So it's very close to what it was. The two that where you where it's not gonna where it's not gonna work the same is these two runs right here. The Matic at the Sconset, you're now at 39, it's gonna go to 35. The Wall Win at the Matic at, you're at 41, it's gonna go to 36. It's gonna be close once that. But everything else everything else is gonna go up. On average you're making more and losing on those three fares. I mean, if those are the two pieces that are missing, can't you just do like a $5 add-on across the island and just keep the rest of the process that's going on? I, mean, I think if you hybrid it out, isn't that the best way to make everybody happy? You got these two, two runs, runs that just aren't doing it. Yeah, but you make it, but you're making more on the majority of the other ones, so it should be more than more than enough to make up for that yeah, those so losses and there. I agree, but it feels like it's stuck and no one wants to move on it. So. Well. Yeah. How often that. is that cross island? That's kind of my point. How often is that one versus all those short ones you're going to be doing up there? You're going to make up on the average. You'll be making up more than enough to cover the loss of those few fares that you're doing across the whole island. And that, I mean, that, that represents like you know 80 percent of what happens. But if people don't want to move on that and they agree with the rest. Can't we just put that in one little flag you're talking about on that? This is across. I I don't have to. I don't disagree with this. My point all along is that you're going to have to make some money on some fares and lose some money on others. That's it's, it's really about fuel. I mean, can you put something that says that if fuel spikes, then we get... But then you can come back. This, these aren't static. Every year the board reviews the rates. They're not static. There's nothing to say that, you know, next year they can't go up a nickel on something. There's, you know, these don't, there's like the other rates. The rates have always gone up, never gone down. Can you figure out how it would work if you were going from Scotland to Madison with a $6 drop on the 250 mile? Well, how does that work if you're going from the West Zone to the East Zone now? You're not going to have a six, you don't have a $6 drop if you're going from the West Zone to the East Zone. If you're going from zone two to zone two, if you're going, it's twenty. It's nine, nineteen dollars. Right. If you're going from, I'm saying a way to figure this out perhaps is to start it at six if you're in Wisconsin. See how that math works out when you're running that. Oh, we did that. That was at the six dollar drop and two fifty a mile. How did that play out? Oh, it's six and two fifty. Oh, there, right? Oh, two seconds. Put it up here.
fare. <laughs> I got a hundred and seventy six dollar fare. <laughs> Two fifty a tenth. I mean a fifth. That's what he said. Two hundred fifty. I mean uh, two dollars fifty, that's what he wanted. <laughs> Oh, well, one fell. Oh, if you want a mile, that was the. I, mean, I can't do that. Uh, not the two fifty. Uh, what was the drop? Twenty five cents a tank, right? Yeah. Well, that was the original one. Was twenty five cents. <laughs> so you go back to two twenty five. <laughs> so I mean, your your fares are well. Everything's dropping. <laughs> I mean, if, if you want, uh, if you want, if you're saying for, if you want 250 a mile, it's uh, 50 cents. 50 cents, correct? Yeah. So it would be. 50 cents fifty. Yeah, fifty. So it's 250 a mile. Then that brings your one mile run down to eight bucks. Right, and that's where that's kind of where we started from. You don't want that. Yeah. I think you have to. You want more money for the shorter runs. You have runs to leave the initial fare up high and keep the mileage down low. So if well, you what do we just have? There was a nineteen and the We had 19, nineteen and twenty. Nineteen and twenty-five as well. And that that seemed to be close. And we're just going to have to work work around those other ones. That's all. There's only three. Two actually, right. two. only two, because the wall one at the Sconset run is about the same. Yeah, it's, not bad. it's twenty cents off, so it's really just Sconset to Matica and wall one at to Matica. So it's going to end up being twenty-seven anyways once the clicks keep clicking. Get stuck behind that landscaper truck or a. Well, it's any of those long, those any twelve, thirteen mile runs are going to you're going to lose a little money on, but that's. Well, you're making it up on the short. You're making it on all the all the short ones. Right. I mean, that's, I have no issues with that. I mean, but you guys got to give up a little and make a little. Because you're going to yeah. make it up on all the other ones. Initially, I knew we were going to, you're going to have to stick a shot at just shock at the 19 and they start running the numbers. No. Right. So let's leave that as the second rate for now. Let's go now to the so that's 19 and 25 for a fifth. Right here. This I got it written down. This was about the, um, We didn't think it was fair to charge these people a whole bunch more than these people. So we discussed putting the line for this one right here. This this will be gone. This would all be part of two. So you're then, saying bring the yeah bring it up to what Fulling Mill? No, bring it back to uh, either Shimo? at Shimo or, or Kelly Road. Mm -hmm. I'd bring it back beyond. So this is going to go to Gardner. But this is still going to be zone two. Oh, this is still going to be zone two. This is just a town, the town line. So this would still be in zone two. You want to bring, you want to make but the town make zone smaller. Just a little bit because it's 2.2 .2 here, it's 2.4 there. We know we're going to have to eat some of the stuff over here because it's too hard to, to change it in here with a different line. There's too many streets, there's too many year round people that we want to take care of. What is this for? Is this Gardner right here? This is this is Shimo. This is Kelly. Gardner runs along the. This is this is Gardner. So why don't we just bring it? So the right here is two point two. Just, so now that's about three. So why don't we just say Gardner? Is Gardner in or is Gardner out? Gardner's out. Gardner from Gardner out. Before would be, Gardner. See, I would include Gardner because there's no easy way. Well, the problem with Gardner is, is it winds up into Shakamo and all that. Well, and the problem that well, this is you just have go away. Shimo runs over to Gardner. Though, this too. line from here to here is going to be part of Zone Two. This line to here would be is what we were talking about there. It's the third zone because this is higher now than this, and we wanted to keep this. What do you mean higher? It's high high because we, we, what we just did with the 19 we just fixed makes that. it all the same. We okay. just fixed that. We just fixed it. So we don't need that third zone. Okay. So if... So the line would go there. So this just makes you want to make the zone the garden. This one here. This is fine. We talked about the... Um, 
so this stuff, which we can get a couple of. It's 2.2 to. For sake of clarity, if we took it to Shimopon Road. And there's too much stuff in the back end. I go to Gardner, because you have the South Valley, Middle Valley. You've got a lot of houses in there that run up. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, and where that line would go, you have to split it. A gardener, a gardener would be okay. I don't have a problem with Gardner because that's right. so. that's Gardner is a straight line that runs right to the water. Right. So if we did that, that would be okay. So that's probably what another mile from there. So we're talking what? about three miles to no. Gardner. No, it's only that's not even a quarter of a mile. So up the Polish estimated road. two point five, yeah. say, which would be fairly set. Silly equal to this. Right. So move just we'll just use Gardner. So just take this. So any anything east anything, of Gardner. Anything east of Gardner, anything east of Bunker Road. Bunker Road and Zone east. Two. Gardner and east. So once that's you, fine. But it's like because Gardner's okay because it's a straight line right, right and to it's the water. Easy to decipher. And it's Philly equal there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we don't need the third zone rate because we just fixed it with the 19 and the 25. So we're talking about not having the third zone. We're talking about keeping the 19 for zone rate two at both ends of the island. Moving the line back to Gardner. Gardner, Gardner past will be rate two. So, so that's about 2.6 miles. Yeah, because by bringing it up to 19, bringing it up to 19, it brought it up. So does that sound like if you're better? gonna if you're gonna pick up, say anybody in here? Well, you pick up anybody in here, and you're taking them to the Walnut House, right? So you yeah. that's about probably six miles. So if you go into this and look at a six mile run, which is 5.9, it brings it to 26.20. That's more than you get now. Yeah. No, we're just looking at the distance. We're just, just looking at six just miles. The distance. We're looking at a six mile run from say, with a Somewhere around Gardner Road. Yeah, with a $19 drop and a 25 cents a fifth, it brings it to like 26.20, so 26.27 bucks. So that's going to be more you, than you're getting now. If you pick someone up on Pulpus Road closer to town. Yeah, we're talking about a six mile run, not a one mile run. A one mile run. run's going to go to $20. A one mile run's going to go to $20. So, so that short while win at the Pacamo run is 20 bucks. Where so now you say you're getting 19, so you're making a dollar more on that. Six at 25 for the rate one, which is the downtown. 25 for a 10, which we didn't change. Fifth? Ten. Tenth. Tenth. Oh, the nineteen. The nineteenth is fifth. Yes. Correct. Yeah. This is a tenth. We didn't we have we haven't changed. We haven't that. had to do anything up there, so we're, we're gonna one at a time, one at a time. The senior rate you have already. Yeah, we can now we're dumping back into four zones again. Well the senior thing we just saw always said that's just in town and that's just during the day. Yeah. 
right. And then okay. the um, the second fair is what we need to work on now. Right. I thought we were done with that. We had an 850 or an 850 drop. Right. Yeah. That and was then they just get the same mileage. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was that worked out fine. Didn't like it, but as Bobby said, you can get out of the cab and then call it again and be cheaper. But yeah. I just did this in Hyannis yesterday. I got off the high, high speed not not yesterday, excuse me, um, when I was going to Florida. I got off the high speed ferry. There was three cabs there. There were a bunch of people. One guy was going to the airport to get his car, and I was going over to uh, Commercial Ave. We got in the cab together. The guy dropped the rip, the flag. The guy, he went to the airport. He paid what was on the thing. I he got out. They reset the meter at zero. So it went right back to whatever the first drop was. They don't have an add-on, right. and I just paid from the airport over to where I was going. All right, Charlie. Can you put up the 850 for a discussion here? And then we had 25 cents, so. Uh, it's this, it would be, it would be the, the two columns would be what it would be. The, the, the one fifth column would be the rate two drop, the second drop, if you were going from rate, from zone two to zone two. And um, the blue or the purple, whatever it is, would be zone one. So if you're going a mile, you're getting another 10.50 for the second person. If you're going three miles, you're getting 15.50, 16 bucks. If you're going four miles, you're getting 18.50 for the second person. Yeah, I think that's more than fair. I do too. You're getting the add-on 250 for the second passenger. And then you're starting, you know, and then you're just doing a whole new fare. You're getting a 250 bonus, well, and then it's carrying just covering on. the covering the one person. Right, and then you're getting That's you're building. getting the flag drop, the one person, and then and when any mileage, whatever the mileage is. What did we discuss about the 850? I'm, I'm a little hazy right now. Why wasn't it going to be? If you're doing a multiple fare from the airport to town, and your second drop starts at 850, you're always going to be behind where we are now. Right. But there are scenarios that it doesn't work out good for the passengers either. Let's say you have a fare that went from the airport to Marianne Drive, right next to the airport. That's great for that person. They just got to run for 750. And the minimum is 12 now. the second fare, what are you going to do at minimum and draft? You start them at 850 again? Yeah. Where you should have possibly started them at 6. No, Bob, I mean, we're just I saying it's the... the from the airport. Right, we have the... that person's getting old. Right. A bit more. We have the air airport zone now. Should an extra be for the fair, first fare out of the airport? The airport be more than the town drive. Just going straight from the airport to Main Street should be 14 bucks. It's now 13 bucks. I know we went some and we lose some, but that's a bread and butter on. So we're losing every time. I'm not good so what flag drop would work better than 850 without being too expensive for the for the passengers? No, nowhere else. Nowhere else where I've gotten into a cab. Do you pay an extra to be an additional flag drop to be a second passenger? Except here. And I just said, I got into the cab in Hyannis at the High Line, which is like the airport for you guys, and one person was going to the airport and I was going to Commercial Ave. The guy that got in for, first went to the airport. He paid the rate, whatever it was, with a $6, say we're using our rates, he paid the $6 drop and the mileage then it went when i got when he got out of the cab the guy reset it at the six dollar drop 
because 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 we have the add-on of the 250 per person, then that's why I made it the 850 to add the second passenger into the second drop. Put nine up there for a second, Charlie. For the initial fare? Yeah, please. <laughs> So, I mean, that almost doubles your fare anyways for what you were doing. Yeah. So you're sort of back to getting your double fares again. I'm of the opinion why does why does the passenger have to pay double when your your expenses I mean you talk about your expenses in the cab and how you have to cover the you know deadheading and all that here's an example where you've covered it plus you're making a hundred percent profit on that on that run because that first fare has covered your expenses and now with this multiple fare it's all gravy you already got there. <laughs> First fare covered to get in there. So bad to make extra money on that run that happens for three months out of the year. That's how we can all afford to be here in February. It's just the way it is. That's how we pay our bills. Yeah, you're sitting there for three, four hours. People that get off the boat and the plane expect the cab to be there. So, and good. that first fare is paying for that cab. Now it's the the second fare, and I think at eight fifty. You're getting the base fare plus. You're getting year-round service. The people that are sitting out there all winter are, are making less than minimum wage half, half the time, but when somebody gets off that plane or that boat, there's a cab waiting for them. If they all just went away for the winter, there would be We're talking about nothing. multiple fares. There's only I know, one, I mean, this, 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 this is only about multiple fares. Not only and the majority of multiple fares are being made by people who aren't in this room right now because those are getting picked up by all the summer drivers. No, I'm not there. I said the majority. The majority of the summer drivers aren't people in this room. For three months, I need to figure that out. That is a pretty important part of our day. And what goes on at night, I'm sure it's really important then, too. What number works for the second flag drop? I know we've been baiting, batting it back and forth for hours and hours. Still haven't come up with one that works. Which one works the best for the majority of the fares? Not all of them, but the majority. I don't think there is one. Too high for a town second flag drop. Right. Not high for the airport second flag drop. <sighs> <coughs>
about the six dollar flag with the 250 add on for the airport. Mm -hmm. It looks like we're back to adding the uh, after hours as an extra. You're saying put with an extra four. for an airport? With the four, yeah, maybe. So you want an extra for airport runs? Perhaps. Then this would come down. I wouldn't give you, I'd give, I wouldn't, if you want the extra for an airport run, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give you anything more than a multiple. I'd say no multiples, you just, it, just like what Bobby said, it's just a straight, straight fare. So you want the extra, you want an extra 250 for every airport run, okay, we take the 250 off of this. So that way, where, where are you making more money, on the airport runs or the multiples? How many fare, more fares do you no, do? It would multiples be the add more? On to the six for the airport because it's seven now. Well, that's what I'm saying. But then yeah. we then we stop talking about these multiples if you're going to get that extra add on there. Well, you're still going to have to do the multiples. You still have to drop the flag. No, no, no. I'm saying you can do the multiples, but your multiples are just a new run, just like what Bobby did in, in high right. There's no there's no extra. It's just wherever you're going. So wherever that wherever that second leg of that fare is, it's the first. It's a drop. Whatever. There's no, there's no separate rates for multiples if you want a 250 airport um, extra. Well done. So for every fare you get from the airport, the initial fare is six, $6 for a drop plus eight, plus 250. So it'll be the 850 out of the airport. Yeah. So 50. That doesn't help the multiple, does it? Well, it does because if you're saying your bread and butter fares are the airport, you're making it up there. Well, you'd probably be, be dropping the flag on both of them from the 850, is what I'm saying. Well, you want it both ways. You want more money for airport runs, and then you also want the extra money for the multiples. It's like if you want the 250 extra at the airport, yes, bank. take it, but and just treat any, any multiples as straight fares. Yeah, we're just trying not to lose money on the multiples. You, you can't, you're not losing money on multiples. You're never losing money on multiples. You're, you're always making money. Because you, no, you're... We'll be losing money today if we... I, I don't... We're losing it tomorrow. I don't see a scenario where you're losing money on a multiple fare. There's no scenario with a meter that you're losing money. The scenario is you're not making as much money as you're making now. Exactly. But if you take the extra, yeah. but, but if you take the extra 250, the, a 250 fee from the airport for every airport run you make, if you want that extra 250, then we'll just say uh, multiples. It's a flat rate. It's the same, just like a regular fare. So if you're making more money, if you say the bread and butter runs are the airport, we'll give you more money at the airport, and not have to deal with this multiple business. Well, we still have to deal with the multiples. No, you still do the multiples. You're just not getting the extra 250 a, a fare for a multiple. You're getting the base fare. We'll You're always going to get the base fare. You take two fares, it's two separate it's one two fares. fares. It's 12 and 12. Right. Um, it's, it's two fares. Right, so if it's going to be 850 for the first fare, what should it be for the second fare? Okay, I'll call them in drop the flag again at 850 at the drop? Yep, see so ya. Yeah. It'll be one ray, but it'll cover both things. Is that enough? Or does that work? No, you're not getting it both sides. You're not getting it both sides of the fair. Nobody's riding free from the airport to the white elephant and then going from the white elephant to the galley. Right. They're, they're getting Nobody's they're, riding they're free. They're all paying from the airport. No. No, because they're not. Because that second leg is not coming from the airport. They don't have. They don't have to. They don't have to. They don't have to choose to do a multiple fare. They don't have to. They don't have to. But if you want the extra two fifty to leave from the airport, so you get an eight fifty fare drop from the airport. Yeah, I'll yeah, do it here. So you say you want two. The extra 250 for to leave the airport. So that fare is 850. You go to town, it's 12 bucks. Right now. So it's 15 with, then. 14 right now. It's 14. All right. So let's call it 14. Oh, okay. All right. So the 10th it will be 1850. So you're saying it's 14 now. 
Yeah, I'll make it 14. Down there. Okay. So, right now, at 850, it goes to 1550. All right, so you're already making a dollar fifty more than you are today on that run, losing, leaving the way it is. All right. Okay. Now. So now you're doing that second in-town fare. All right. Now at eight fifty, just that short, short run. Short, the one point three. Okay. Or the point nine. Yeah, the smaller one underneath. The point nine. It's ten fifty. All right. For under a mile, you're making 1050. What I'm saying, if you want the extra, extra at the airport, this fare, this drop goes back to six, so that goes to eight bucks. No. So the first fare you're getting, the first fare you're getting 1550, and then going from the White Elephant to the JC House or whatever, you're going to get eight bucks. So you're getting 23, 23.50 for that multiple run. And right now we're getting 28. That's the amount of red. Yeah. Yeah, right now you're getting 28. We would lose Yeah. Five hours. But how often is that days. happening? We're just three, 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 three months out of the year, it happens. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but are you making more single runs from the airport where you're going to be making 250 an extra run? Do you pay the airport to be able to pick up and drop yes. off? Yep. Yes. Yeah, they buy a permit off there. How much is the permit? $300 per, per, per vehicle. Can we pay another 300 to the town to be able to drive around town? So we're not going to take a hit on the subway. Right. There, there is, I'm going to run this by you. Just hear me out. <laughs> Second ferry, you leave it at 850. Right. All right. That way, you're in town, you're going to Cisco, you go to the brewery, the extra person's the 850. <coughs> okay. And that'll alleviate an extra button, too. Probably just one no, button. No, let me, okay. let me finish. Because they have to pay for the airport, just like when you pick up, you get picked up in Logan by a cab, you pay extra. So you could push the button once mm -hmm. and have the 250 drop from an airport if you're departing from the airport. Mm -hmm. But, and I want to be clear on this, Two people get in the cab at the airport. One gets off at the White Elephant, one gets off somewhere else. The first person that gets off pays the 850 rate from, the, they pay the six plus the 250 drop, okay? So they're paying 850 to start. The second person doesn't pay the airport drop again because their second rate's already going to 850. You understand what I'm saying? But say you're the second when the second person fare begins, you hit rate three. You don't hit rate, but you don't hit you don't hit the extra button again. They they don't have, the, so they they're already paying the extra two fifty in their second. It's only drop. one button push to depart the airport. The put that's right. right. The but the buttons pop push the departing the airport the two fifty add on, and whoever gets out of the cab first pays that two fifty. Because that's the first meter, for the meter right. trip. Then right. that's the death. That's the original mm -hmm. from the airport. When the second person's fare starts, then you push the rate three button. That rate starts at eight fifty. Right. Does that make sense? I think that's what we're saying. Why would they both just be the same partner if they both started? It is. It it is. Well, wait a but it's but it's an add-on. It has to be on the meter as an add-on because it's the, the airport charge. Just like when I come from Logan into Boston. The, the meter says rate one and it's 1750 and then there's an add-on for the the guy hits so, the add-on. But right, when so they the depart the be... airport, do they depart the airport with a flag drop of six dollars? Yes. Okay. They so the six dollars plus... It's the rate plus, one and then the add-on is the right, 250. Okay. But then the second fare is the 850. The second fare, because the second fare isn't always going to... The second fare is not always going to start from the airport. It might start from the brewery or it might start from mm -hmm. wherever and you know so that that second fare has to be the 850 start rate. I disagree with that at all. Well, we won't have to do the extra on the zone for the town if it's, a, it's the same thing for airport and multiples. If you're at the airport, zone 
town, the airport right now is in zone one, but if you're picking up at the airport, you would hit the extra button. That would be the 250 add-on for the. Um, so for every airport run, single, single fare from the airport. 850. One person, going There's from airport to town. A two fifty. Flag, flag drops is six, but then you get a 250 plus for an airport fee. Because but by you keeping, have to push the no, no, no. By keeping it at six, though, for the in-town rate, that's why we keep it at six. So everybody in town still has the initial drop because you guys are talking the Essex Road and all that business. They still stay at six dollars. Yes. But if you're at the airport, even though you're in the town zone, it's you still eight. you get a two fifty surcharge because you're picking up, from, picking the up airport, from the airport which is done all over the country there's an airport add on right but you wouldn't have to add it on if it's already no, been since zone 3 want, but then it gets confusing because you're saying i picked up it's easier just to hit the add on because then they have the receipt and it's it's spelled out there the add on what's the add on for that's the airport charge so if there's ever any complaints and they come to charlie and say this cab overcharged me he has the receipt he says well where did where, you get picked up? I got picked up at the airport. Oh, the 250 is the add-on airport charge. It's, it's very simple. You just hit yeah, the button. But, but it's the same if you do it the three because it's going to say airport and multiples on the chart. It's the same thing. So I guess we could do it the zone three, either way. Now you're not just, adding an extra thing at the airport. It's already written out like it is now. We it's could do it. We town. could say it that way too, correct? Just, just to be simpler. We could say airport departure <coughs> and multiples 850. Um, We're trying to cram it all back in this four button um, system. I have to go. I have an executive session meeting. I just wanted to make one announcement to the taxi drivers in the room. Last night at our selectmen's meeting, we um, put on the agenda next week that um, uh, we're going to discuss for this year because you all have to go out and buy meters. Your $300 fee that you pay the town for your taxi license each year for this year, we're going to either defer part or all of it to help you offset the cost of your meters. So. Okay. Well, we're going to figure it out next week at our meeting. We have to put it on our agenda. So for the we'll select for next week. Yeah. Well, just just on your question before you leave, when you push that button for the add-on for the airport, right? Going to town. What right. happens when you pick, get picked up at the Cheddar Crockett House and go to the airport? You don't get the you extra two fifty. Just, no. just leaving the airport. Because you don't need you need it. You don't need an airport license to, to drop do that. off at the airport. Okay. So so when these people. Go to the airport, and then you pick them up at the JC. Well, how come I paid two fifty more coming in town than I am going? It's the same way when you do it in Logan. You right. don't pay you going don't, to Logan. You don't you only pay, pay going coming. to Logan. You pay coming out. Coming out. Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I gotta run. All right. We'll just recap <coughs> and then we'll committee close it up. I think we're pretty close. Though. All right. So, well, when do you want to do this again? Maybe one more. We can. Yeah. Um, when are you leaving? I'm going to be away most of next week, so the 19th is good. The 19th? Yeah, I think that was in the email. Can we do it tomorrow? No, because we have to post it 48 oh, hours. Yeah. Um, I mean, the earliest, what's today? Today's Thursday. The earliest we could do would be Tuesday. You're going to be gone. <coughs> A week? Well, if the wind stops. <laughs> <laughs> was, Let me go back and look at my calendar and I'll text you. See, one of are, you, are we pretty comfortable where we're at now? I mean, I, I am. I am. Yeah. I am. All right. I think. I think we're, I'd like I'll to. Email. I'll get it this All right. Email it. I mean, I, I. I think we're good. Yeah. I mean, how we work on that rate for if it's eight fifty plus or. We can call it an airport pickup second passenger. We can yeah. call it whatever we want, but. As long as the numbers are agreed on how we work it into the meter, doesn't right. matter. All right, I'll see you. All right, bye. All right, thanks. I mean, it doesn't matter how we work it in the meter. If you guys are happy with the with the numbers, then fine. It's just the numbers. You know? Let me meet with them and we'll right. take a hard look at it. Um, but it uh, works for me. Because now the, um, the airport thing, the airport thing would be the same coming and going. That's how it is now. Yeah, but you're getting 250 for. I mean, that's. I think that's fair. I mean, as I keep saying, um, my goal here is to Shouldn't is to less. protect the public, not to protect right. the taxi drivers. Okay, right. I mean that's my position. Yeah, and my position is we don't want to. And you want to protect the drivers, and that's well, why we're both on both well, sides of the table. Both. You know, so, but I think it's fair. I think it's you know you guys have to pay the 300 bucks at the airport. Getting that extra fee, you know, is 
and you make 100 runs from the airport in a year, you've paid for your fee. So, um, let me. Um, so, Dome 4 is going to be still the. Uh, Senior. Doesn't matter. Like what Doesn't matter to us. We just like set the spec for the meter. We, I'm not worried about that at all. That doesn't happen a lot. And we've already got talked about that a little bit. That we we have people around that can re recalibrate them, recertify them without a problem. So. Um, so down, you can oh. You're out of business if you don't have a working meter. But I think we can. If you get, if you can get a working meter, we can get it certified. Yeah. You know. Does it have to be police side owners that are certified? No, no, no. It could be anybody. It be well, it can't be a taxi owner. It's got to be some government thing in Massachusetts because the state regulates it. You know, but it's like in Barnstable. They, their weights and measures people do it. You know, I mean, it's not. It's just got to be government people. That's all. So, but I talked to um, Division of Standards in Boston, and they said they'd have a local guy here do it. Has the town figured out how much you're going to charge every time you need you? We don't. We don't charge. I think the state gets 50 bucks a, a time, but I don't see the town doing it because we're not going to be doing it other than on an emergency basis. You know, but the state. I think the state gets 50. When you bring this guy over to calibrate this mile and everything, he's really discussing that it's going to take him a while to get set up and do all these taxis. So he's going to be here a few days. No, he said he's, I gave him a number. He said he can do it in a day. It only takes as long to do it as it takes to drive a mile. That's as long as it takes. The meters, is a little. there's a little switch on the meter. The little switch, once you put the switch into calibrate mode, Drive your mile, put the switch back, seal the meter. That's that. That's all it takes. There's no other. There's no adjusting or anything. It's just reading. It's reading what the meter is seeing from the speed sensor in the car. This lines those two up. That's all it does. And my only other question that keeps popping into my head: How are meters actually protecting the public? Just because they're getting a receipt and there's something on the screen. And it's fixed rate, yeah. Uh, is it? Is it taxi? Rider, I got a question. I live past the Quidnet, Quidnet Road, mm -hmm. so I get in the cab and the, the guy goes all the way around Concert Way, and I say to the guy that Ed Bob said doesn't speak English, mm -hmm. and it's I'm like, well, why'd you go this way? And it's a lot longer. Uh, don't worry about it. So, where is the, as she mentioned, the rider protected? And are you going to be vigilant about that as much as take complaints? Somebody's it, complaining and you got a receipt, right. we know who gave it to you, we know what date and time it was, we know who the driver was, then we'll look at it. But it just seems to me that, I mean, before I never sat through these meetings, I used to actually, to be honest with you guys, think that they were um, making a lot of uh, whatever over nothing. But by sitting here as a rider, I don't know what was so hard that they dropped me off at my house, if they go down the dirt road, I'm like, all right, there's the dirt road paper. Mm -hmm. and, to me, I'm looking at this. I'm like, holy! I don't know what I'm going to need to go to a class just to read. This. This <laughs> well, the reason it the reason it's so complicated now is because we're trying to compare 28 existing rates with what the meter rate would be and find that happy medium. That's why it's that's why you're seeing so many numbers on the screen. That doesn't exist anywhere. That's just because we're trying to take this 28 zone system and try and shoehorn that into a meter fare. That's you know, that's why it's so complicated. And because there was no logic into how the, the zones and that rates were calculated, that's why you're seeing some disparities around times and distances that don't make any sense because the original zone map never really started to make sense either because it grew out of, it originally started from a 1.5 mile radius from the Pacific National Bank. That was how that rate zone map started and it just kept getting changed and chopped up all you know through the years so it, that's that's why it's difficult to understand with all these numbers and that's why a lot of people in here can't rationalize why they were getting twenty one dollars for this fare before and then it's showing with the meter only nineteen because that time and distance in the zones never 
it was, it was not, it wasn't logical. You know, it was just because that's the way it was. And the thing has evolved from when I started in 1982, I think there was 12 total, six to airport, six town. And then as time went on, everyone started chopping it up as the island developed. You know, you didn't have Maya Comet, you didn't have all that at Henderson and Somerset. There were no houses there. There were no houses over in Shimo. So now, as people start driving there, now they decided we need a zone for that. We need a zone for this as the island group built out. I mean, you compare where it was in 1982 to where it was today. You know, it was a great difference. Tom Nevers. You know, no one lived out there. Now, full of people. So that's why the zone map sort of evolved that way, and it didn't really make any sense. Trying to put it into a time and distance formula, which meters are, that's where the problem is. I, I just think, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just making my comment mm -hmm. that I think is. No, I understand. I, I just think with, if they were agreed to the old system and as a rider, I, I was very pleased with what I've written. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking at new rates, and it's, in, in a sense, it's not always going to protect the customer. It's going to go both ways, but it seems to me if, and once again, I know you guys have already, have already voted on the meters and it's a done deal, but. I'm just saying as a as a rider and looking at if they were happy with the race system and most of us riders i'm a middle class guy i've been happy with it i mean yeah nothing's cheap on it but and i and to me it's, it looks like you're making a lot of work for nothing when i think they could do better by just having a better receipt process and a driver a1a and you gave me a receipt and i said hey look this isn't right and you say guy's bad and you know, well, that's my, just, my opinion, you know. Yeah. Yes, but Most people don't ask for a receipt. We have them on every card, but they don't ask for it. They're offered it. They don't always take it. Right. And I, and I guess and that's, that, that's at the customer's, that's the right. customer's fault. You know what I mean? If I get out right. of the cab and I'm not happy with what he's charged me, it's up to me to... The meat is going to spit out a receipt, but that doesn't mean they're going to take it. You're going to offer it to them, and they're either right. going to take it and crumple it, or if it's... Some people keep them. Right. But not everyone's going to keep them. Yeah. Is the uh, is the state going to realize that they can't just come down once to? to, uh, mm -hmm. to do We've this? talked about it at least twice right now. So they'll be able to come because down. because of the majority of the cars aren't on the road till late June, July. So we're working on doing one um, earlier in uh, late spring, well, they, and then one in at least two actually times. Actually, they all have to be on by the time the license is issued. First. You have to have a registered vehicle to get your license by June 1st? Yeah, June but they 1st. don't have to be on the road. You know, people can pick up the papers from the town clerk, but there's no requirement that they're on the road. You know, so you're not going to just have to get to the town clerk, I have my meter? I'm not sure how we'll work that out okay. this time, but um, there's been more than one, talked about more, at least two, maybe three times we'll have the meters. Uh, the state will be here to do the meters. They don't have to calibrate them twice a year? Oh, no. They just need to come once a year. I'm not even just sure that we need to do it once a year. Just once. You know, I, 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 unless you change, the, unless you change the car, I don't. There's no reason to change it at all. Mm. You know, I think they do them every year just as part of their, you know, annual thing they do. But um, so I don't see there's any reason I to do. Said every six months. Well, I was over there last week. But don't they have their own guy over there? So they still have to do it. I don't know why they do it every six months yeah. unless they're changing something with the car. No, because they only they only have to be done annually. But if you change it, if you change wheels, if you do Get major maintenance on it, you know you have to. Um, change the tires. Though? If you change the wheels. I say the tires. Change the wheels. Change the tire size. Change anything like that. It has to be redone. If you, you have the same the tires one for one, then you don't have to do anything. You know, the tires have to be what the manufacturer says goes on the car. <coughs> so we go from a 215 to a 225, it's going to change the... Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But the car, the, but, you know, the little sticker on your door says what size tires you're supposed to have on the car. Well, let's say it just breaks in July and the train blows up. we got to be putting the car on the road. We have to get in touch with the state ourselves, have the guy... No, I mean, you could coordinate with us, but if you go blow a transmission, you got a lot more worries than the meter. Not really. It's no different. It's no different than any business out here that has to have technicians come over to fix stuff. It's no different than anything else. We schedule it. We get it done. It's not. It's not that complicated. Like I said, it's 
You know, but if you're trying to do it at the, on the 4th of July and you want it done within six hours, it's not going to happen. You know, but. Is there, what's a reasonable delay? Like a week? Not even. Oof. We're going to have someone here on island who can do it. You know, so I'd say a day, if that. You know, in that case, you know, emergency thing, yeah. I don't see any reason why it can't get done right away. That's what I'm saying. I think your problem is not going to be who's going to check the meter. It's going to be getting your car back on the road. Because you still got to go to the town clerk, and the town clerk's only open Monday through Friday. You still got to go to the registry of motor vehicles. They're only open Monday through Friday, regular business hours. Then you got to go get your insurance. And, and you know. In an afternoon, I've done it before. So that's my main concern is what if you get stuck and it's the middle of like a busy week and you just can't get someone to do Someone, the, as I said, the meter thing is going to be the least of your worries. Yeah. Yeah. If I lose a cab at 10 o'clock on Monday morning, I can guarantee you I can have another one back on the road by 4 o'clock that afternoon. Mm -hmm. But with a meter, then I'm worried about the meter after that. It's one more thing to worry about, yeah. Doing the registry and... It's one more thing to worry about. Yeah, I'm not saying it isn't, but you, you got to let the people know who need to get that meter rechecked that you're going to need it done, you know, within the day. And hopefully we can accommodate you. As I said, if it's the 4th of July and stuff's happening, I don't know if that'll go that way. But if it's, you know, during the normal course, I don't see a problem with it at all. You know, even the same day, I don't see a problem with it. You no, know, really don't. You can have a couple people that are... Yeah, it's the plan. Yeah. You know, it's just a, as I said, I think your biggest problem is getting your car on the road and getting all the licensing done. You know? The installation. The installation, yeah. Just like anything else, you know, if you got a radio that's got to get moved, if you got a phone that's got to get moved, if you got to get, you know, anything with your cab get done. It's just one more thing, yeah. So you could pick four people on your staff that you want yeah. to be things. So it's. I mean, it's no. As I said, the technical aspect of doing this is nothing more than opening the little door, sliding the switch, and driving that mile. It is not hard, you know, and that that's the. That, that, that's all it involves. So it's, n it's not like you have to come out with any special tools or equipment or anything else. The insulation part of the meter into the vehicle, I've heard it's been taking over two hours or two days, depending on the vehicle. Also depends, I guess, on who you have installing it. It doesn't matter who does it, they all have to do it the same way. Mm, well, any vehicle manufactured since 2006, it plugs into the OBD connector, the onboard data connector that's under the steering column in the car. Federal, federal regulations require that since every, every vehicle since 2006. That's why when you went to get your inspection stickers for the last few years, they don't have to put you on the machine, the dynamometer to run your tires, they just plug it in. You know, that's, that's the same technology, it's no different. So if you go and get your car inspector of service and they have to do a diagnostic, they have to unplug the meter? No. There's a plug. They might have to unplug that plug and replug it back in, but that doesn't change. That won't affect doesn't change the pulses coming from the car. Okay. Yeah. Just, just curious. Do, do you know uh, does the registration of the car affect the meter at all? I mean, having to have it retested or like, no. you take it off the road during the winter. And get no. It These thing meters all have a memory in them that you turn unplug them, turn the bat, um, disconnect the battery. It doesn't affect. Right. No. And people and. Companies can have extra meters to put in, it just need to be calibrated. If one As an association, you might want to just have a couple of spares here. If one burns out for a jump start or something, which is... You know, but I mean, I've talked to Norman at Nantucket Auto Body, he's, he's all into it. You know, he probably would have a couple there already. Also, Eric Evans out at Don Allen said the same thing. They want the business because they want you guys coming back to them for other stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's another story, but... You know, the same thing with Nantucket Auto Body. You know, if you get some dents and stuff, they want you to bring it there to get fixed if you have a relationship with them with the meter. So it's business, it's a business for these guys. I talked to the mechanic, too, and he's afraid of a couple things. But one, he's afraid of somebody coming in with a eBay bought meter. He's also afraid if he can get a brand new meter and it breaks down on July 3rd at midnight, he's going to start getting phone calls saying, dude, I'm trying to make money here, fix my meter. What did you do wrong to well, Nantucket Auto Body's getting calls at midnight now, so I don't know what's going to be any difference to those guys. The, uh, I was asked yesterday to, to go around and, and check on them so we can see where we can go. I went to Don Allen, and the manager there said that uh, 
they have no, they don't know what they're going to do at all. They haven't, haven't committed to it because they don't know what it entails. They haven't got any information on it mm -hmm. from the town. And I, uh, the, and I went to Norman Moore and he said the same thing. He said, I don't know because I haven't made my decision yet. He said, I don't know what I'm going to do or how it's going to affect my liability. Uh, we talked about half an hour. He, he's just, he says, I'm confused. He said, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Billy Bill said he will not do it. George Manchester was closed. Brownell said he would not do it. And uh, I can just only know the two people I talked to. It was Eric Evans at Don Allen's and Norman Moore Jr. at Nantucket Auto Body, and both of them were willing willing to do it. With as you said, they're just waiting for us to decide on what what the actual meter needs to be and set this up. But they, they were all waiting. Well, okay, I guess that's different than my conversations with them, but that's okay. Maybe we next the town's not going to get in the middle of the installations. Well, the town is involved. In it. Knowing what's involved in it, part of the decision of having it. I know what's involved in it. I mean, you can go online. As you can go on YouTube and watch an watch an installation of one. You know, like you can watch the installation of a center nine meter on uh, on YouTube. You know, it's, it's two wires. I kind of like to hear it over the horse's mouth. Well, a guy on YouTube is an installer. I think it was like a guy a taxi company out of New York who was doing it. But once you got branded uh, cabs, worth the deal. As I said, any vehicle since 2006 is required by federal law to do it. Any vehicle since 1996, most of them, the Fords and GMs have it. Some of the foreign cars, you need to get an adapter to do it. It's called the pulse divider. Yeah, I got a Honda Odyssey. Yeah. Okay, you might have, you may have to buy a, what they call a pulse divider that gets hooked onto um, the speed sensor wire. Does a little conversion, but it is a little more involved. Maybe, maybe I'm not saying it is. I just don't know about that model, but uh, but that it could be done that way. As I said, I've talked to both Don Allen's and Nantucket Auto Body. They've told me they're they, they want to be involved in this. That's all I can say. You know, information you guys have is different than what they've told me. You know, so, I mean, we, we wouldn't try to push something out there that was impossible to do. You know, there's companies out there that are willing, you know, there's, guy, there's a couple guys I talked to online from uh, this one for a guy from New York who runs his own business. You know, he said, gee, if they had a whole bunch that wanted to do it, he'd come up and install. You know? All about making money for these people. So if they can come up here, bring them all, and do them all for one, you know, one or two days. Do it. You know, you guys as an association could shop around and find people to do it. You know, the more the more you can do, you volume volume discounts. You get together and it, you know, get them done. You know, trying to do it one at a time. You know, you're going to pay more. But as a group, if you go in and say, you know, we've got 50 meters or 60 meters we want installed. You know you can certainly get a discount on it, you know, and you could find people who wait who'll do it. You know, you could guys come out here with a truck, all the equipment, all the meters, and come out and do it in one garage. You know, if you get together as a group, you know, online, if you look, there's volume discounts for these meters. You buy 5, 10, 20, you know. I've had conversations with a guy over at Hyannis Cab, you know. He said, gee, if enough people wanted to do it, he'd come over and do it. You know, these guys are just in the, mind, the business to make money on it, you know. That's what they do. So, okay. How would you email on it? Or is it just C G I B S O N? Nant at NantucketPolice.com? Yeah. Yeah. Just no dot. No dot. Yeah. That's. I don't think anybody.